and let's go ahead and take a look at where Zeta is currently at the moment. Still a tropical storm at the moment, has not quite reached hurricane strength. You can see that very expansive eye wall that's starting to pop up and the bands that are already starting to form once again as it moves away from Mexico at the moment. Winds sustained at 70 miles an hour now and will continue to grow into the night before it makes its track towards the Louisiana coast. So here's what we're expecting. Now this storm is going to sit over here for a while, but by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, they're expecting it to be a category one storm by 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Then it's going to make its way to close to New Orleans. That's where it's going to try to make touchdown along that Louisiana coast before it continues its track toward the east into the United States, into parts of Alabama and even Georgia as well. So right now we are on Zeta. We still have plenty of Greek alphabet to go. So Zeta is not the last one on there. So 27, we have Eta next and Theta right after that. So we still have plenty of names to go. For the weather headlines in the state line, for Wednesday, we'll have sunny skies and some wind kind of sticking around with mild highs. Then we're going to have cloudy days coming right back on Thursday. It's going to be cool and a slight shower chance. But then by the weekend on Halloween, it'll be milder with a few less clouds sticking out and about. So satellite and radar right now is showing that we're finally starting to clear and get some of those clouds out of here. They're starting to head more toward the south at the moment, which is good news. We're going to continue to see that trend as we head into Wednesday morning. Here's 1 a.m. on Wednesday where you can see more clouds are out of here and then by the drive in tomorrow or the commute, you're going to be completely clear but it is going to be rather cold and that's going to continue into the late morning. Overall for tonight, 27 degrees, mostly clear. It'll be a chilly night ahead with a wind up to 15 miles an hour. For your morning, here's how cool it's going to be. Take a look at this. Temperature sitting in the 30s based on this future track model and then going into the 40s by the afternoon. So even a little bit warmer than what we set today where we only made a high of 39 degrees. High for tomorrow, 52. Plentiful sunshine, much warmer with wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Winds will keep things fairly cool throughout the day as they continue their gustiness. They're going to start first thing in the morning, so it's going to feel a lot cooler than those temperatures are actually going to be in the morning. But then as we head into the late morning, those wind gusts start to die down just a little bit, sticking around a little bit into the afternoon and evening before we start to see them dwindle down just a little bit more into Wednesday night night. So the average temperatures over the last five days was 47 degrees and we're going to go up just a little bit but 49 degrees over the next couple of days which is good news. And let's talk about that rain chance that we saw out there on Thursday. A slight chance for a few showers possible but overall look at this. It looks like we're going to stay on the drier side. We can't rule out a few stray showers trying to get up here towards the state line but Overall, we should be relatively dry, and that same trend is going to continue on the climate outlook all the way into the start of November. Now, the seven day outlook is looking at pretty nice out there. Look at Halloween and Sunday, where temperatures sit in the 50s and 40s and plenty of sunshine. And then your 10 day forecast, you are going to see more 50s and more sunshine. So not really much to complain about on this seven day. Yeah, especially clear on Saturday for Halloween and Tuesday to vote as well. And it's the weekend. Lovely.